All right, welcome to Feisty Chess. I'm outside today playing Frost 10 on Lee Chess. 10, 10 in a game with five second increment. We got a French defense, presumably. Well, Black is really taking his time. Usually d5 is instant here. Okay, there it is. And hmm, let's play the usual knight c3. We got our win over defense. Hmm. I'll stick with my main line, e5, and yeah, c5 is the main move here. So the line I know, I think I should learn something new against this, is this idea with knight b5. I'll be able to get this pawn back. Or have my choice between that and possibly, depending on what black does, an attack that keeps his king stranded in the center. He should take with check here. Okay, that doesn't work so well. I get b4 in, which is nice. I suppose you could go a6 here. I'm thinking about this. a6, uh, and then I take the bishop, he takes the knight. Oh, and now he's allowing me this check. Should I go ahead with a4 first? Or maybe queen f3? Hmm. Is queen f3 first good? He's got f5. No, I don't know about queen f3. <clears throat> Let's get this in. We're just gonna keep coming at that bishop. I've got knight d6 check if he does that. <clears throat> How to do this? I think I'm going to go F4. Not sure a4 was the right move, so I've I can push a5, but his bishop really just wants to go to c7 to trade off that knight now anyway. That's not the move I expected. I'm not sure I'm making the best moves here. Okay, he's giving that up. I 
Okay, I'm going to be... And a knight sack on f7 is possible. Can't be that good. Oh, I hate to take this piece. It's such a terrible piece for white, for black. Let's, um, yeah, let's make him... This, we'll treat this as a gambit. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to shut down any idea of uh, knight c6. That doesn't really change things. Hmm. My bishop go here. I'm worried about e5. A little bit worried about e5 here. Let's play bishop e2. We got our bishop pair. And we can get castled on like white, on like black. Got a desperate cat inside who's jealous of me. I like I like this. Uh, I like how constrained I'm keeping black's pieces. Okay, if e5 now, then I just take, takes, okay. Let's go ahead and trade those rooks. Okay, I think everything holds together here. And now I'm threatening bishop f4. My pieces are nicely coordinated. Yeah, how does he, how does he save the knight? <clears throat> okay, I think I can afford to give up uh, a rook for two pieces here. Wait, that, that ends up terrible, doesn't it? Hmm. That didn't work as I'd hoped. <laughs> I was going for bishop f4 at the end, but it doesn't seem to be possible, of course. All right. 
Let's go for this. This uh, dark squares are super weak over here. <clears throat> so I'm threatening knight takes bishop. I'm also threatening maybe to play queen a8. Although that knight is guarded. If bishop takes, I might just take with the knight, and then after queen takes here, I've got, here's one line that I had calculated before I play this. I just go ahead and take, and then if he takes there, okay. Okay, what does this new development do? He's gonna get his king. I'm going to go for this, dropping this bishop, but activating this battery. If he takes the knight, I'll go bishop d3. If he takes the bishop, I can go bishop takes f6. Okay, I think I like this. He actually doesn't have any checks. <clears throat> If he goes rook here, queen a3 check is really devastating. <coughs> I have to watch out for mates on e1. Fun game here. Um, if takes, then takes, and if he goes to g8, then there's a mate on g7. So if he goes here, I'll take the rook with check. And I should just be winning there. He comes here. Well, yeah, my queen and my knight are all over his, his king. There's certain to be a winning line. But we have to watch out for e1. So he can't afford to take. What else can he do? He's got to defend this point. He actually can play rook here, but I'll just take. I can take with the bishop again. I got too much, too many pieces on uh, g7 here. So if rook g8, I have to choose between queen a3. And bishop takes g7. I like bishop takes g7 better, but then I have to worry about a rook on this open file, perhaps. Okay. What have we here? Probably a good move.
Lots of choices. We'll start with this. <clears throat> uh, having a hard time calculating all these variations. Gotta keep an eye on E1. Could go for a queen trade here. It seems pretty unprincipled. Could go for this check. This seems to solve a lot of problems. I'm just going to do this. <clears throat> this blocks this file and it attacks the queen. Um, yeah, okay. There's a little bit of a trap here. I'm lucky that's a trap because I'd be made it otherwise. Uh, this trap of rook takes. I can't take with the queen, but I can go knight f uh, f5 here. Okay, so that was seen. Let's get our bishop back in here. And maybe we can distance, we can get him off the E file. Okay. The queen check doesn't really pan out. I gotta watch that knight. Hmm. Okay, I've got my bishop ready to defend against checks here, so I'm going to go for this queen check. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get black into. Can I do this? <clears throat> I gotta assume that my initiative counts for a lot here. That bishop is off, is probably going off the board now. But then I get the knight. Can 
Got to be careful about taking this if it's not with check. <laughs> King e7, queen here would be a blunder because then the queen checks on the back rank and I can't block with the bishop. I have nothing but to block with the bishop. But uh, it's pinned to the queen. <clears throat> so I don't want to take that unless it's with check. Okay, I'm going to go for this. This looks pretty good. At least I have a perpetual here, right? Can I afford that night check? I don't think so. I think I've got to go here. Okay, if he blocks with either the queen or the rook, I grab him in a fork here. So he has to move the king. Knight f5 is the is the idea. Okay, I'm now up a pawn. I could even contemplate trading queens if I need to. Yeah, okay. Actually, the best way to do this is probably queen takes here, and then I just win the pawn ending. Perfect. And he's out of the square. Okay. <laughs> Exciting one. Um, I don't feel like I was thinking all that clearly. I was having a hard time articulating my thoughts there. Uh, but nonetheless, it worked out for me. Maybe it's the magic of the outdoors. Let's look at it. <clears throat> French defense. This is the main line of the winnower variation. Um, I think the main line for white here is a3, or maybe queen g4. But I play this line. And the idea is it unpins the knight so you can go to b5, and you've got this juicy check which ended up happening in the game. He didn't want to go back to e7 here because his knight wants to be on e7. So he abandoned the diagonal. I think I was curious, and I want to look at this in the analysis board. I was curious about a6 here. So a6, it's only been played in one game, and white has a nice advantage. Maybe just from the bishop pair. Oh no, I guess I guess you're gonna maybe even hang on to that pawn. So white's uh Well, you don't have an extra pawn, but this pawn is not long for this world. Probably this one's not either, but yeah, the initiative. I don't know, this doesn't look that bad for black. <clears throat> Oh, a4 is the right move here. Imagine that. And this makes sense. Actually, it'll, depending on where it evaluates, the, the computer likes this a little better. Quite a bit better. But it's not picking it here, it's picking a4. a6, knight d6, f4, okay, okay. Queen h5 to force g6 or knight g6. Queen h6 check. Well, what about just if he goes here, then what's wrong with knight g6? It's 
Bishop d3. Okay. And then what's wrong with king g8? Hmm. Well, who knows? <laughs> I can't say that I know this stuff. Uh, it does want knight takes c8 here. I went for the gambit instead. I just like the look of this position better. Uh, this, this bishop on c8 is such a dud. <coughs> um... But I suppose I suppose um, after this, queen takes bishop d3. We're not even going after this pawn just yet. Uh, yeah, there's, there's compensation. Well, you don't need compensation, right? You got the pawn. Uh, you'll get this pawn back. That's the only pawn. But this idea, giving up that pawn, I just really like how this knight is shut in here. Oh, it's really favorable for white. Sorry, for black, for, for white. Knight f5. Knight takes f5. Oh, oh, of course, this just wins a piece. I did not see this. Queen takes a1. No, it doesn't win a piece. Bishop takes f5, and now bishop b4 check. King e8. Rook a7. He can't defend that. Okay, yeah, that's definitely pleasing. Um, I didn't see that line. Instead, I went for rook takes. My plan was to do this and then play bishop f5, but I forgot without my rook anymore, I'm not f4. I'm not supporting bishop f4. But still, white is a big advantage here. Queen a7. Hmm, that's not the move, I guess. F6. Okay, queen takes F5 would be much better. Hmm. Queen F5 and then here. Now wouldn't queen here do the trick? Maybe not, because of this. No, there's a mate. There's a mate on E1 to watch out for. Well, anyway. Bishop E1 that likes. Why Bishop E1? Oh, oh, that, that threatens the queen to f. That threatens bishop on this diagonal. So that, that would have been a way to maintain the threat here. Um, okay. Still doing well after this recapture. So, yeah, bishop takes f6. Fun idea. Nice that the knight also guards here. There's no checks for the queen. Bishop h4. Oh, that, that's too much because that allows the rook to activate. Yeah, rook takes g7 apparently does work. What about knight f5? Queen g5. Okay, you just take. This is... a oh, what? Oh, really? King f7? 
instead oh right <laughs> the queen on the long diagonal I get weird about this okay now the knight is lost isn't it Yeah, okay, I see the problem there. Oh, it's hard to see that far ahead. Yeah, I mean, this this is a drawish looking position according to the computer, but the thing is, it's super hard to hold this if you're black. King G7. King G7 would have been better. Instead, black with King G7, uh, this doesn't really work. I can go king h6. As crazy as that looks, it, it works. My knight back to g3. Um, yeah, but here is trouble. Now here he needs to move the king, f8. And I've got plenty of pawns and a much safer king here, so if I can manage to watch the back rank, I should be fine. Knight e2 is one way to do that. Anyway, tactical mistake here. Yeah, knight f5 check is probably fine. But I was worried about, like, uh, say this. I guess you've got queen h8. Or maybe this. Well, this, this is worrying. I didn't see queen h8 because I can't take the rook with either of these pieces because of the back rank mate. Can't take the queen because then I, my queen gets taken. Well, and I might still be winning, but that's a tough ending, actually. So, simplest was the most forcing line, like such. So there we go. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay feisty.